What's going on guys, Zerus here. So, the other day, you know, I was cruising on the internet, you know, doing my own thing, you know, just, you know, just doing stuff. And I got on Instagram and, you know, I was looking at uh, some pictures of some chicks doing some uh, the exploring section. Because, you know, I mean, I have anything better to do. And I stumbled upon this lady right here, uh, based on her, on her hashtags and, and, and stuff, you know. So I'm looking, I'm looking through her pictures, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, damn, you know, she's a nice, thick lady. And she looks all good, and, you know, she's got a really kind of average looking face that I'm that I'm really attracted to I mean I really like plain Jane looking girls they they oftentimes have more personality but that's you know that's just me you know uh really thick wide hip chick yeah you know, you know if you you know if you see my videos you know, you know that, that that's me you know that's what I'm mostly attracted to right so I'm looking at her pictures and I'm like damn this is a, this is a sexy woman I'm, I'm attracted to her she looks good right I scroll down right and I see this video right now 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 this is this is one of the funniest videos I've ever stumbled across in my entire life I mean, this is absolutely hilarious. I was laughing for like, for like 30 minutes, right? Just, just going on her Instagram after I saw this video. It's, it's absolutely hilarious. You guys, you guys just, you know, just, just, just check this out. Okay. Just watch this. It's, it's going to do like this thing. It's going to blow your freaking mind. Okay. Just, just watch. I'm fucking done. My body is not here for you to analyze. It is not here to be sexually gratifying to you. I don't give a fuck whether you think I'm attractive. Stay the fuck away from trying to define me as a woman and my worth as a woman based on my body, all right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, so, so if you are probably me, no, no shock, no, no surprise, no wonder <laughs> that, uh, this, this, this lady here, a uh, healthy, happy Chelsea is uh, shocker, a, a body positive feminist. I just, just gonna let that one sink in there. Just a moment of silence for us to, um, collect our thoughts. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean. When I first saw this 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 video, I, I laughed my ass off for like 16 minutes. And but the the worst part is, I mean, like I was sitting here and I was thinking about it, right? You're just thinking about it. And, and I couldn't believe that this woman is sitting here complaining about the fact that 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 some people and we we all know it's men, all right? That that men find her sexually attractive because I mean, like, there's no way there's there's no way in hell that that she would ever post a picture, you know, twisting her ass towards the mirror and take a picture of it. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, okay, well, she would, okay, well, there's, there's no way she would do that, like, like, in tight jeans, or, oh, no, okay, okay, so she would do it, but, I mean, you know, she's a thick lady, so, you know, most, most jeans will fit, I mean, it's not like she's ever done that, like, like, in, like, in leggings, or, or, or like, in yoga pants, or, ah, uh, 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 okay, oh, uh, no, nah, shit, so she has turned and showed her ass on Instagram, okay, 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 it's not like, it's not like she ever posted any pictures of herself like like in a bikini or anything like that uh, oh, oh come on C come on okay well okay so you know she's you know taking pictures in a bikini you know a lot of chicks you know they like they like doing that on instagram i, I mean that's you know it's not like she's like an attention whore or anything like that you know there's no way she's like an attention whore and and will like like ever take a picture that kind of like focuses on her chest or her breasts or anything or oh, come on lady help me out here what, uh, what are you, uh, okay okay well i mean okay sure you know i mean I mean, she's, you know, wearing these tight ass these jeans and, and, and yoga pants and, and, and bikinis and showing her breasts. But I mean, at least at least she's not, you know, she's not like twerking or anything like that. Right. OK, OK. okay. This is the closest thing I could find. She, she's not twerking. She's good. She's good there. She's good there. Well, at the very least, we can say without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, it's not like she's posted up semi nude pictures on Instagram. Oh, lady, I am really trying to, 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 to help you not look like an attention whore. And you just keep on giving me material, Chelsea. Come on, throw me a bone here. What are you doing? All right, so we've established that this woman is sexually attractive to, to somebody, me, and, and apparently other people who noticed her, you know, because I am not the catalyst that made her make that hilarious video. So, I mean, she's, she's sexually attractive to some people, and here she is, you know, posting up, you know, sexually attractive pictures where she somewhat presents herself and... A couple of them, you know, not, I'm not saying that she's an attention whore, I mean, yeah, okay, okay I kind of am, but she's a different kind of attention whore I'll get into uh, later, don't worry guys, I'll, I'll get back into making the attention whore chronicles, hopefully this video will, will carry us into the, the fifth official video 
and that'll make let's stay on topic here okay now the thing that gets me about this chick though is um he, he, she's she's a feminist you know and uh we we very we know that that video was directed towards men now, how do we know because well well one of the very next pictures she posted up was uh was a picture that straight address men and it goes and it says men i am not here for you and so uh <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna read uh, the description the caption here and respond to it all right so uh yeah get your reading glasses on Let, let's get into this so she goes on to say she goes uh men i am not here for you i am not here for you to rate debase degrade or analyze <laughs> first off i have no idea why i used the radio voice to read that but second more importantly lady n no one is saying that you are here okay however i'm saying it's kind of a natural consequence of being a woman it's kind of a natural consequence of just being sexually attractive to someone People are going to analyze you. They're going to look at you. It's just, it's, it's more subconscious than it is conscious. I mean, no one walks around with the clipboard saying, hmm, yes, yes, nice 40 inch ass. And I like the way those jeans are so tight on you, um, lady. They look very good. No, no one is doing that. <laughs> no one is doing that. You know, no one has a clipboard analyzing your body. I like how nice hip to waist ratio. No, no one is doing that, right? I mean, they do it subconsciously. Okay. They don't, they don't control it. They don't think about it. Okay. You know, these, these men, they're not doing this to hurt you, lady. Okay, and, and the whole degrade and debase, I mean, come on, you, you know damn well you get a lot more people who like you than dislike you, okay? So, let's, let's continue. I am not here to make you comfortable and your attraction to a fat girl. Well, lady, I don't need you to make me feel comfortable. I'm a grown-ass man. <laughs> Jew, I've got no problem saying I'm attracted to, to, to the thick ladies. And you're not even all that fat. Anyway, you're thick. You know, I mean, maybe some white guy might call you you fat, but it's not me. So, you're fine. You're fine to me. You know, I, I tear that ass up given the opportunity. So, I don't, ain't no reason to be upset. Actually, you're upset because I would tear that ass up. Isn't that funny? <laughs> uh, my body is fucking glorious. Whether or not you're attracted to girls like me. Uh, okay, you know, cool beans, but... It doesn't matter if it is. I mean, if your body is glorious to you and no one else finds you sexually attractive, then you're not going to have sex with a lot of people. And thus, being attractive kind of hasn't helped you out there. You know, that's kind of the whole point of being attractive is to get people to want to fuck you. And, I mean, whether or not you want to smash, cuff, or pass, and God forbid people are attracted to you. You know, that's, that's misogyny. <laughs> My self-worth has nothing to do with whether or not you find me attractive, want to fuck me, date me, wife me up, or send me rude ass messages online because you find me disgusting. Why waste your time then, boo boo? I give you, I give you a point there. You're right, your self worth doesn't. You're absolutely correct. Uh, I don't see why you're upset with someone finding you attractive. <laughs> don't see why you're angry there. I mean, if someone wants to have sex with you, that ain't a bad thing, lady. If someone wants to date you and wife you up, that's good. It means you're winning the game of life. It's not a woman's responsibility to be attractive to a man. Well, no one said it was. It's just a natural consequence of life. It's going to happen. I mean, what are you talking about? No woman's worth is based on whether or not you would fuck her. Well, you're right. You're not wrong here, but ain't nobody saying that. No, no one is saying it. Where are you getting this nonsense from? I, I know, society, the media, you know, all the, the Jews, probably. While your lame ass is sitting in your mama's basement on the computer... Uh, pause, pause. Okay, first of all, I mean, this is a common joke or insult feminists throw at men, but they never take into account that if you live in Florida, it's illegal to have basements, so maybe he's not in the basement. I mean, yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter much of anything. I mean, so what if he's in his mom's basement? I mean, are, what, what are you insulting there? His masculinity, if that be the case, then aren't you adhering to a traditional standard of masculinity and thus being sexist? Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, I think that that insult has kind of lost its flavor. I mean, does that even bother people anymore? I mean, most college students live with their parents after college anyway, so... Yeah. Rating women you don't have a shot in hell with. Pause. So let me get this one straight. <laughs> You're upset because someone told you that they find you attractive. And your response is to tell them that you're too good for them. 
my fat ass is out here glowing and grinding and making a fucking difference in the world. So you tell me who's really winning. Well, I would say they are. I mean, they have a sexy lady they can beat their meat to, so, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, some of these hashtags. Hashtag mic drop that shit. Hashtag don't be mad because you can't hit this. I am so confused. Lady, how are you simultaneously upset with them wanting to have sex with you? And then respond with saying, well, you can't have sex with me anyway. What, what the fuck? Keep sitting in your mama's basement, b busting her Wi-Fi, boosting, you know, whatever. I'm out here doing my thing in the real world, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then she goes on. <laughs> there are some quality men out there, just not the men who are attracted to her, apparently. <laughs> I was kind of addicting to say, but I mean, I mean, what else is there to say? Okay, so then, right after that post, she has uh, something else to say. A little bit of that uh, fresh damage control that some feminists do when they make a wide generalization of men. So let's go ahead and take a good look at that. I'm obviously not talking about all men, and I think you guys understand that. I'm not talking about the ones who are helping to encourage and support and empower women every single day. I'm not talking about the quality guys out there. I love men. I love the quality guys in my life. All right, so after watching that uh, that, that bit of damage control, you know, we got to keep those uh, those white knight beta males around, you know, to keep giving her some, some good old praise. Um, she writes in her uh, description box again in, in, in the caption, so let's go ahead and read that. I have fucking quality men in my life. Nah, okay, go cool means. I've got dudes who keep it real and respect women and work to support the struggle. Then what struggle is that? Putting on some jeans? Just buy pants that fit, there you go. I have so much love and respect for the quality men in my life and the ones who are out here supporting and respecting us every day. I am not talking about the good dudes. If you're one of those, you already understand that. I am a feminist, and that does not mean for one second that I hate men. I love men. I love good dudes, the quality dudes, the respectful, intelligent, multifaceted men who hold it down for women who struggle with us, who empower and support and encourage and love us. The dudes who recognize that they don't need to be scared of strong women and men who are just as determined to see us rise. I love men, but these fuck boys, yeah, they're fucking it up for all of us. Hashtag, feminist men are sexier. Oh, well, that's a very interesting thing for you to say, that you are um, surrounded by a quality men in your life that are multifaceted, and, and feminist men are sexier, and yet, Here's something that just doesn't make sense, you know, to me, you know, being a guy who finds you uh, sexy attractive, you know, especially that nice big old fat ass that you have. I just find it very, very interesting that you are single. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, how does that work out? All of these sexy, quality feminist men around you, but you're not having sex with any of them. Hmm. Could it be that maybe even you, even you, Mr. Thickums, even you, you want that fresh old Chris Evans, Captain America looking at ass nigga. You want that T'Challa, King of Wakanda head ass nigga. Is that you you want the nice, sexy, pectoralis abs on a fit sexy man? So you mean to tell me that all of these quality men are around you and you're still single? It's probably cause uh your whole body positivity thing only stretches towards women. You know, you don't give a fuck about these quality men not being sexy enough for you. You know, you still probably want, that, again, that that T'Challa, tall, dark, and handsome-looking Black Panther motherfucker, right? I mean, how are you surrounded by all of these quality men and you still find yourself being alone and single? Come on, lady, help me understand that. Alright, so as we bring this video closer and closer to its inevitable conclusion, we need to take a good look into the mind of this woman. Okay, because uh, you're, you're going to find some pretty interesting things, or at least I found some pretty interesting things that in the caption of, of her picture. So when she posts up these pictures of uh, her sexy self, you know, of that, that nice fat ass that she has, when she posts them up, um, she'll write like an essay in the, 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 the comment section on Instagram. So I'm just going to read a couple of sections, right? I'm just going to read them out. And, um, show you, you know, she's not quite the whole, um, body positive person you think she is. Let's, let's take a gander. Mm. It is a daily struggle to not compare myself to other women. It is a daily challenge to not become envious of another woman 
and find myself wishing that my waist were thinner, my hair naturally fell in tight bouncy curls, and something I have wanted my entire life, that I had the courage to start my sleeve tattoos, that I could be as free in my style of dress and the way my body speaking and confident in my body and my beliefs and as far along in my dream career as these other beautifully empowered women. Hmm, well that's interesting. Here you are writing an essay about how um, you don't like the way you look, about how you wish you could be different. And then a man comes along and says that uh, he finds you to be sexually attractive, that he would tear that beautiful booty that you have up. And this is your response to him. I'm fucking done. My body is not here for you to analyze. It is not here to be sexually gratifying to you. I don't give a fuck whether you think I'm attractive. Stay the fuck away from trying to define me as a woman and my worth as a woman based on my body. All right? Here's the deal. In two months, I will be on a beach and I will be rocking a bikini. And for the first time in a long time, that thought scares me a little bit. I haven't kept off the weight that I lost. In fact, I've gained up to 20 pounds of it back. An extremely hard thing to admit. I was so proud of my journey, of my hard work and my results, but unfortunately, I had a very hard time making it into a lasting lifestyle. And positive body image has been a hard thing for me to accomplish lately. As much as I love my body, and I truly, genuinely do, I still struggle every damn day with my body image. So, here you go again, writing an essay about how you don't like the way you look. And then a man comes along and says, you're beautiful, you're attractive to him. And your response to that is, my body is not here for you to analyze. It is not here to be sexually gratifying to you. I don't give a fuck whether you think I'm attractive. Here's another one of her essays. Why we have to stop using the phrase body goals. It seems innocent enough after all, We've been raised in a culture that tells us it's not only normal to envy another person's body, but to actually set goals to achieve that same body. We rarely see the underlying message that our body is not enough, and it would be better if we were to achieve the figure of someone else. So once again, lady, you mean to tell me that some man came along and said that your body, you Chelsea, you're good enough for him, you're attractive to him. Your big old booty is great to him. And this is what you have to say to him. It is not here to be sexually gratifying to you. I don't give a fuck whether you think I'm attractive. Okay. 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 No, let's, let's just keep reading. It's not innocent after all. It's our minds being brainwashed by years of commercial propaganda, years of listening to our mothers speak negatively about their own bodies, years of being told subconsciously that we would be better happier if we lose those 5 or 50 pounds, get those washboard abs, obtain a Kim Kardashian booty. You already have one. You already have one and I would tear that ass up. We don't see the harm in it because the attitude has become the norm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go ahead and read the last one, and then we're gonna bring this video to a close. Because bikini season is fast approaching, and the world is going to do its damnedest to convince you that whatever state your body is currently in, it's not good enough, it's not skinny enough, fit enough, tight enough, tan enough, smooth enough, hairless enough. Lady. Lady, are you serious you mean to tell me <laughs> that once again we have stumbled across an essay of which you've wrote where you are complaining about the whole world society the patriarchy the media the fashion industry telling you that your body isn't good enough and you mean to tell me that a man stumbled across your instagram looked at that fat ass said it was nice I would cuff it, and your response to that is... I don't give a fuck whether you think I'm attractive. Okay, let's just no, go ahead and wrap this up. So as a giant fuck you to those messages, and as a reminder that you deserve to give no fucks about the single expectation or stereotype concerning your own body, here is my body rocking a bikini, and I'll let generous, overflowing, dimpled, stretched mark, squishy glory. That apparently a couple of men would have sex with so it seems you're doing something right but yeah okay whatever 
you know, I, I think I, I think we're done here. I, I think we don't really need to read more. I think uh, it's interesting to me. Uh, a couple of things here. Um, for starters, the fact that um, this woman opens the door for people to to look at her her big ass. I mean, not just from posting pictures, but posting memes about it. I mean, check out this post here. When Bay opens the door for you and smacks your ass after you walk in, and she says, "If this ain't my future relationship, he won't be around for long." Be a gentleman, but be nasty too. Which, I mean, you think is contradictory advice to a male feminist, but I guess not. Um, here you go again, talking about your ass, saying you want your ass to be smacked. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, you know, here, here's here's another here's another picture. Um, when I was a kid, I hated taking naps and being spanked, but these days I'm pretty into both of them. You, you like getting that big ass smacked, so I mean... You open up the door talking about how you got a big ass, and then you're, you're a little upset when some man voices his attraction to you. I'm, I'm a, okay, I'm, you know, kind of strikes me as the whole feminist, you know, you, you, you want everything, you know, you, you, wanna, you want the freedom to talk about sex, but, but God forbid a man responds, you know, talking about uh, his sex drive, you know, that's misogyny. But to bring this video to a close, I have to say this, um, for, for, for starters, I mean, you know, I feel very comfortable getting on Chelsea's fluffy ass because, one, I'm, I'm very attracted to her, and two, because this is bullshit. Um, and, and the second thing I have to say is, it's not like Chelsea here hasn't done something great. I mean, like, viewer, if you think that this woman is big now, I mean, she she went the distance. I mean, Hercules would be proud of her. I mean, she was really fluffy back in the day, and she got on... she did what she needed to do. She lost a bunch of weight. She worked out. I mean, originally her Instagram was um, a weight loss catalog, you know, where she was getting fit. And, and you can clearly see throughout her picture, she's gained the weight back. Um, she's fluctuated with the way she's looked. And, and on the one hand, viewer, it's so sad because we can clearly see that even though this woman is sitting here with the, with the body positive hashtags and, and I, I, I'm a warrior for self-love and, and I'm a body positive feminist and, and I'm a goddess, whatever the hell that bullshit is about, even though this woman is sitting here saying she loves herself, we can clearly see she doesn't. I mean, otherwise she wouldn't be posting pictures over here trying to get a bunch of other feminists to, to tell her she looks good. You know, she's opened up the door to get a bunch of attention, you know, and then she's upset when she gets the attention she doesn't want, which is sexual attention from men. Which is ironic, considering the fact that she wants to be with some man, but, you know, you know, in her defense, I will say this, sometimes some, some guys can be kind of dicks about the way they voice how they're attracted to her, and, and while it may take you aback, it's still not a bad thing, you know, I mean, even if someone's like, hey, yo, bitch! You know, let me get something to be that ass, right? Yeah, I can understand. You know, you're like, no, dude, leave me alone. But there's nothing to be upset about. There's nothing to be angry about. I mean, like, and come on. I mean, it's still a good thing someone's attracted to you. It's nothing bad. Um, and it's just a sad thing to see. It's a sad thing to see that this woman here, I mean, she's mildly attractive, um, very attractive to um, some guys. And, and here she is, hating herself, sad, you know, that you know, her weight's fluctuating all of this. And, and then she gets positive attention from men, and she gets angry. I mean, this this is what feminism has wrought. This is what feminism has, has given us. It's given us these angry, entitled women who want to be able to get the attention. They want to be all thirsty on Instagram and then be upset when, when they invite the thirst of other men. We have these angry women who are angry at society instead of taking responsibility for themselves. I mean, uh, she lost the weight and, and she's still angry at everything. She's still angry at herself. You know, and I think this this is where the video needs to be wrapped up, man. Okay, like if you're a lady... If you're a woman and you're watching this, man, if you take anything out of this video, please take this, okay? Take these two things, man. Number one, if someone is attracted to you, all right, you take that as a blessing. You take that as a good thing. It is not bad to have someone be attracted to you. It's a damn good thing, especially when you compare it to a lot of lonely guys out there. There's a lot of lonely men, you know, who are fat or too skinny, who don't have money. They're lonely. They want to find a good woman. Ladies... Do not take the ease of finding someone that wants to be with you for granted, all right? Take, take that with you. Take that. Understand, being mildly attractive, you know, I'm not even talking about Beyonce or, or just being mildly attractive gets you so many dating opportunities. Don't take that shit for granted, man. And point number two, and this goes out to, to, to men, um, to, to, to women, to everybody, LGBT, doesn't matter. If you don't like yourself, 
at 350 pounds, you're not going to like yourself at 165. You're not going to like yourself at 15% body fat. If you don't like yourself now, you're not going to like yourself later when you hit that goal. All right, the truth of the matter is confidence, self resilience, steadfastness, tenacity that starts from you within you. You have to obtain that. Because, you know, these, these goals and this body weight, when you hate yourself, man, it's going to carry along with you. You got to get that first step. You got to love yourself first. So please, and, and it's a hard thing to obtain, especially if you've been doing this for years. You know, if you didn't have good parents, you know, if you, you don't have a community, so you don't have a church or, or even just good friends. It's a hard thing to get, but you got to get that one first. And I'm not doing this because I hate you. I don't hate Chelsea. I don't hate any of these feminists. I don't hate, any, I don't hate anyone here. I'm doing this because I want to see you better, man. Even if I don't know you. All right. So I know I talked on long enough. Uh, this video needs to go to a close. But I will say this. I am not done with Chelsea's fluffy ass. Okay. <laughs> I'm not done yet. I got to wait one more video surrounding some of the things she said. Not really on her, but just the things she said. Look out for the next video. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a doozy. With that being said, man, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below, and as always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I will see you cool cats soon. Adios.